Hello guys and welcome back to another The World Will Load. There we go. Evil Craft video. Um so I logged off at this spot. And last time we built a little pigment farm and it's actually working pretty good. The only problem right now which we have What? I for a second I thought I saw diamonds. The only problem we have right now, we don't have a good killing system. So that is what I will be building today, but for that we need slime balls. And I was looking for a... Ouch. Looking for a... Oh crap. A, a swamp. And I came across this ravine and I wanted to quickly check it out, because there sometimes are chests in these things. In these abandoned mine shelf, but pretty valuable stuff. As well as some of this stuff. Not that I need that that much, but it's still useful. As you can see, I got lots of swords on me. There's more down there. Hmm. Well, this isn't lit up, so technically this should be fine if we just check check it out on this side. Who? Lots oh there we go already. Lots of lava. Go away la oh. oh okay. Okay, bread useless pumpkin we really got coal, okay. That's actually pretty bad. That's I thought I had torches on me. Am I just blind or did I put them away? Might have put them away. Also don't have wood on me. I'll wait a bit. Am I just that blind? I really thought I had torches. I guess not. Uh huh. Nothing else on this side. Just gonna leave the minecart there since I don't really have any inventory space for it. Huh. What to with this? Oh, I guess someone has been down here. Maybe just hasn't found that part yet. Because that's clearly a way up. Or maybe it just fell in and didn't check it out. So, do I have... Oh, I've got a bucket. Let's see, can we get a water bucket from somewhere here? There's water, that's for sure. Let's... Oh, wait, there's more down here. Let's check this out. Nothing I can see that quickly. Oh. That's actually good. I need to kill creepers because I'm out of gunpowder at the moment. And you need it quite a bit for brewing potions. You more to it. Someone has been here, unfortunately. Yep, I think this part is explored though. That sucks. Yeah, come on. Move. There we go. Just take that. But no, yeah, I think we'll have to go to the other side. Let's go and do that. Do I have blocks? Of course I've got blocks. Of course the crappiest blocks in the game. That should do it. Let's get to the other side. And now we have to get down. This might be a bit dangerous. But that's okay. I think this area is at least unexplored. Take those. I should probably just keep them in case I ever get a silk that shear. And here it just stops. What the hell's wrong with those two pieces of wood? Let's check out the other side. That is a dead end. Anything else here? Or was, or was that all? Because that's pretty pathetic if so. Oh, there's a lot on that side. Ooh. Actually hit me from here. I hope you guys can see this. It should be fine, actually. Let's see. More lava. How is this not... Oh, it's far enough. Okay. I was like, why is it not burning? But I hear a zombie. I don't see it, though. Kind of scares me. 
Oh, must have been a bet. Let's check this out. Good, that actually worked out pretty well. Get the gunpowder. Dead end. Okay, I think this was probably all of it. Oh, there's more on this side. Q. Oh, but there's a couple here, so it's probably explored already. Maybe not past here. Oh, wait, did I... Okay, I did a full turn. I was like, hey, there's another way up here. But nope. Okay, so I'm gonna keep looking for a swamp. Oh yeah, someone has definitely been here. And, oh crap. I was like that that guy doesn't see me. Is that correct? Okay, good. I'm gonna try to get up here and get myself to a swamp. So I will be right back. Okay, look at this. I actually walked over here. And for a second I actually thought, hey, is this a new biome with like natural wheat generating? And then I saw the house. Is there even a a, a a biome that does this? I don't think it there is. Um, no, it still said roof forest. They should really add one, because this looks really cool if it's like in this amount. Let's see if we can get to the house. See whose base this is. Let's hope we don't destroy any crops. Oh, is this actually a farm? No, I don't think so. No, can't be. Let's see, oh, there's a beacon here. I guess it's, yeah, speed. Speed, oh, it must be buried. I was like, how the hell, that's just a small one. I'm actually gonna take a little bit. I'm gonna make him confused. Put that in there. Because I'm actually running low on food. And since that thing is automated, I think he wouldn't mind. Let's see, whose is this? Another farm? A little eco farm. Oh, I've seen this thing in another hub. Oh, crap. Oh, wait a second. Oh, is this Chaos Base? Nate sucks. Okay, I guess it's not Nate Base. Because. Oh, let me quickly check what he's just said. Yes, this must be him. Um, I actually was about to. After this segment, I would go to his house and get myself a trade. Unfortunately, I don't have my pick on me. Uh, but what I was gonna do is I want I was gonna trade a fortune pick for a silk touch pick. And I think he said, because now I know where it is. Yeah, I'm sure Chaos wouldn't mind if I would take a little bit of chicken. Oh yeah, see. Yeah, see, this is a storage. He told me where it was. Um, OP tools. Fortune? 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 Okay. Uh, I'm actually gonna just take that. For... Hmm. I guess I can throw away that. Um, I'll uh, give him the, the, the my tool later, because right now I don't have it on me. Okay, wait, is that thing automated? Like, I want to see, is it controlled with redstone? Oh no, it isn't. Oh crap, okay. Nope. Okay, there we go. Pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna keep running for a. Oh, wait a second. Maybe. I can. I didn't break those. Those were already there, trust me. Ouch. Okay, let's see. You should have a chest probably with mob drops, I'm guessing. Ooh. Um. Ooh, maybe this. No. Holy smokes. 
He has sticky pistons, so I guess I'm guessing he's got some slime blocks somewhere. If he's got a lot, I might just take eight, because that's all I need right now. I didn't take anything. Shh. Chaos won't see this. Okay, he probably will, unfortunately. But I think he should be fine. I just took one block. I think that's nine, right? Yes. Okay, um, so I'm actually gonna go home, get my pickaxe, give it to him, and I'll give him a little bit of a bonus for the slime, for the slime block, and then I will be right back. Okay, let's just quickly deliver this payment. I actually found this portal. It's pretty simple to find. I mean, it's r oh wait, let's just use the button. There we go. So let's go over here and. Oh, wait, no, let's go to the v storage room, which is very unconveniently placed, because that's a long walk from the base. Um, yeah, I think you should extend this, because it looks quite cool. So much yellow. Let's get up there. It's hard to move around. I'm afraid I'm going to trample crops with this speed. Okay, and... Oh, crap. Well, I got room for it now. So let's put the silk touch in the middle and a potion of health next to it. And what else? Sure. I'll give him a I'll I'll give him a melon slice. I'm the, I'm that just that, I'm that kind of person, you know? I care about people. I give them my wealth. Um but yeah. Um now that I have you new know, fortune 3 pickaxe, I can get quartz a bit quicker. Only thing left to get is a good sword. Uh, basically, for when I throw the the instant health two potions, you want to switch over to a fortune or a not a fortune. Oh man, what is it called? Crap! I should have known this. Didn't use the button. I know. I'm um, a fortune, but oh come on! Seriously, I can't remember. Uh, well, anyway. I need that to get a lot more loot from the zombie pigment or I'll have to do it like because you do get like three times more gold that way and also more gold ingots so a lot more actually I think it's like five times more probably um, but yeah let's get back because now that we have this we can get started uh, I already changed a bit let me show you quickly um, so yeah I placed some water in there and because that used to be the 3x3 three three area right here. Let's see if we can see here. This used to be the 3x3. Three three. And basically what I did, I just placed signs in the middle. Broke a block in the back. Pushed, uh, made water, pushed them to the side. So this way we only got a 2x2 two two area. So now what we got to do when we want to crush them. We have to push the, the back forward. Which they are already extended. Um, but I'm going to have to switch these out with stickies. Oh crap, forgot about that. Oops. Um, but yeah. Let me get some resources together, because I need to make the repeaters and all that fun stuff. And four more pistons, and then I will be right back. Okay, so I made the pistons and I've set them up. The only thing we need to do now is make a timer. So let's take those off. And let's go and... What's the best way to do this? Let's see, will this power it? Let's check. Okay, that powers both. That's good. So we'll have these two here. Uh, of course, I'm going to have to switch out all of this, probably stone so that I will not break it let's grab some stone real quick right after I do this good because I have stone plenty inventory is still a mess as you can see well, that's okay let's place these and this Get these down. Redstone behind. 
and then we're gonna have to put a redstone wire over to here so let's see if we would power that one will that do it let's check if we put a torch there connect it okay that powered both let's see okay good let's pick that up and go to sleep because it's starting to turn night was I in time? Probably was. Just short usually. No, I think I was in time this time. Okay, so we got a way to power the pistons. Now all there's left to do is power this side. Oh yeah, I placed some half slabs here to keep up the sand. It didn't look very organized here with this cave like half in the mountain. I'll cover this all up later on and of course change the cobble for something more fancy and let's just remove that okay so what we need to do now is oh wait let's just do this one first and what I also probably want to do is put a little bit of a time difference between those because what we want is the first we want to let the back extend and then the front um, because if we extend the front first or the back first what will happen is that it will actually uh, how do you say this it will push the bobs forward first and then crush them instead of just uh, is my phone going off oh crap oh I'm getting calls one second well, that's the first time that happened. Um, yeah, actually, actually, it was just my brother calling me from downstairs. I guess he's too lazy to get all the way up here. Um, but what we want actually is these two to be different. I think what we're going to do is going to make this a separate thing. We still need these two to be connected, um, but we're probably just going to go all the way down and below. I should really just grab a pickaxe right now. Since I broke the last one trying to escape the stupid thing uh, in there. I'll take the fortune 2 for now as a working pick. Let's get rid of some of this crap. Don't need that. Uh, don't need that. We'll keep the rest for now. So, we want this just to be a lever then. That's probably my best option here. So what's the best way to do that? Um, we want it to be on the front. So we're probably just going to have one lever... Wait, does this power anything? No. I think we want to put one there. That's going to make some other stuff difficult. Hmm. Let's remove one more. We'll probably just put some more glass in there anyway. Change these out. Or just make them double slabs. Um, so let's put the lever up there and up there. So let's make the signal go down. Is this clear? No, it isn't. I think our only option right now is to do this. and make it half slabs because that way it won't power the piston that's the problem I've got right now that works oh wait no it's powering the piston crap is it like butt powering it is? okay it does hmm this might be a bit more difficult than I was expecting at first hmm Let's think about this. We could just put it away one more. So, like there. And put the other one all the way on. Oh crap. God damn it, sand. All the way on this side, I guess. That probably would make it a bit easier. Because um, now, I think what we can do 
just make the wire go on top. Good. That's just the back. Uh huh. So now comes the difficult part. Let's remove some of this. Uh, I guess we already had this part here. So we actually don't need to remove that. Uh, we're gonna go down, I think. That's probably our best option. And now, let's go back to the center. Okay, that should work right. Yes, we got just enough room here, I think. Let's do that. Go back to the other side where we got a little bit more room to work with. Okay, here it is. Yes, that should work. Okay, good. So let's continue the trail. Good, so we got the stone in place now. Uh, let's see, how long is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, good. So what we want to do now is make the timer, and that's going to be the difficult part here. Um, I guess... Oh, we'll figure out where we're... We'll put the input, but the timer will have to be on this lever. So, we're going to have to make a timer. And I almost forgot, we're going to have to make some more stuff. Oh, crap. Not a furnace. We need two of these bad boys. And put them across from each other. I think actually right there will work. Put some of this in. Oh crap, that's actually wrong. We need to replace... Why did I use hoppers? What the hell is wrong with me? I don't need hoppers, I need droppers. Um, let me get the rest of this timer together and then we'll put it together and see if it works. Because this is just rubbish. Okay, so I think I've got the stuff now. Let's hope I've got it right. I know there's a creeper here because that's actually why I run. Oh yeah, you're in the... God damn it. Don't blow up my redstone. Don't you dare. Oh, okay. Good. You didn't dare. Let's feed this bad boy. Um, I guess glowstone first. We should probably make that automatic, but that will be there soon. So let's take a look at this again. I placed the hoppers down already. Not that it's the right spot or anything, but you get the drift. I'm gonna have to make a little bit of room. <sighs> okay. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Let's see. One, two, three. Let's make a little three by three area. Let's see if I can still make these. Probably not, but that's okay. Let's see, one like so. No, 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 not like a so. Like a so. And then we'll just put those in. Torch and torch. There we go. Now I can switch it once, but then I won't switch back. So basically, this is the, this is the time we want it to be crushing. So let's just put like eight blocks in there. It will go to the other side. It will not go to the other side because nothing is blocked. But now it is, right? Good. Then when this one is empty, 
So we need a comparator. When that one is empty, we want it to output a signal right into. Oh, crap. Uh, sure, let's grab that as well. Right into that. Which will make it turn back until this one is completely full because this one is now blocked. I think that's all. All we have to do now is get the timing right. So let's check this. Uh, oh, oh, and you have to connect it, of course. Um, so, right now it's in the off state. So we need to grab one of the empty. Oh, well, we could invert it, so that's not really a problem. So let's go down. So I think probably right here is fine. Should be fine. I'm not gonna guarantee anything. Okay, so I think I've got it wired up now correctly. I don't see any way this could go wrong except for like every way. Uh, so basically, just to wire down redstone torch to invert it. So let's give it a try. Uh, first of all, we close this, and then you press the button. And we got a problem. I think this is bot switching it. Why did you not turn back? That kind of sucks. He's unpowered. Let's see, does a block update do it? Yes. So that's a problem. Is it a problem we can fix? Let's see, if we don't extend that, will it work? Okay, that works. Let's actually take some of this out, so we'll go a bit quicker. Now if we extend it and do it again. Yeah, it just. I think the problem is this block right here. Let's see if we change this out for a slab. Will that do anything? Let's check it. Ooh, get through the door. Am I getting called again? No, just to text this time. Let's hit this. Let's see if it. Okay, that works. Now, if we remove that. Yes. Awesome. So the problem was it was just but powering it. Okay, so let me get some pigments in here and we'll test the timing. Okay, try number one. Uh, so I got some pigments in there. It looks like they all fell down. So first of all, that works still well. Uh, so right now I've got 18 in there. Let's see if that is enough. Are the back ones not getting damaged? Oh crap, I actually moved the wall backwards. Crap. Look at that, they disappear. Same as item frames and stuff. Um, oh crap, let's put one of these in there. So let's see if the front ones die, that's pretty much all I care now. Okay, I think one or two of them died, but not all of them. So we might want to extend it a bit more. Let's see, let's put in... I guess this will work fine. Um, one, two, three. Okay, 21. Because as far as I know, zombies got 23 health, so I'm kind of going off of that. Let's see, can I hit them through the wall? Oh crap, they can hit me through the wall. Nope, they're not pushed into the wall, so I can't hit them through it. Nope, I hit that guy. Hmm. Okay, how do we kill the guys that are left. That is the question. Let's see, if we move that wall back. And we change that. We could change that to a half slab, but then the, the rest of would be in the way. So it wouldn't really help us much. Let's see, can we break the block above that? No, that's what I thought. Okay. 
Let's just move this forward then so I can pick it up. Because that ain't a problem this way. And let's, well, even though cobble doesn't look fine, that should be better. Um, so yeah, let me grab some more pigment and then I will be uh, right back. Okay, try number two. So let's push them forward this time. Hit the switch. Oh yeah, now they're all hurting. Good. Feel the pain, bastards. Well, they're dying. Let's fill these up. So let's see if it worked. Let's grab one. Awesome. Looks like we got our timing. Let's see, we got 11. Let's see, how much is that? Only 6. And there was like 15 zombies in there. Um, so yeah, I still need the good sword. Because uh, basically what you do then, you throw the potion and you s before it hits the ground, you want to switch over to the sword. And what happens then, it actually calculates the, the zombies as a kill b by the sword. And therefore you get the actual extra fortune on it. Still can come up with the name of it. That's just stupid. Um, but that's okay. Oh wait, I have to make more melon slices. Let's see, can we do that? No. Do we have more? Probably. Um, but that's gonna be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. We got some work done. The, the zombie picking farm is now sort of automated. And uh, hopefully next time we will do some shopping in town. That sounds fantastic in my ears at least. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did and all that fun stuff you know down below in the comments all that whatever you call it. And then I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.